Rescue teams are working effortlessly day and night to try and save the lives of people stuck in the rubble seven days after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. The dead, including a 31-year-old Ugandan, Florence Bavidye, are now more than 36,000. Ambassador of Uganda to Turkey, Nusra Tiperu, told NTV that they were notified of Bavidye's death by the Turkish authorities. The rescue team was able to find the body of Florence Bavidye, and as I speak now, Bavidye was already buried at plot 537 in, in Hatay. And uh, what we have done as a, as a mission is to write to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs requesting to allow the mission to repatriate, to exhume the body and repatriate it to the family. Tiperu says they have notified Bavidye's family in Luengo district. According to Tiperu, the embassy is aware of 16 other Ugandans who were affected and they are working towards supporting them. Shibugushi Ashraf, a student at Firat University, uh, that one is we're also in process to move him uh, to Ankara. We have another one, Karara was already got. We have Halima Botu Mudemuki, uh, who is in, in Hatay. As a mission, we've decided each, each one will be given half of what the Turkish government is giving to help them uh, in terms of clothing, food, and accom accommodation. The Turkish government, from our calculation, is giving each victim 10,000 tele, so the embassy will be able to provide half that amount. The catastrophe has left several hundreds homeless and helpless waiting for aid. Walter Mwesije, NTV.